When you're working with multiple cameras and audio sources, one thing that is probably the most dreaded in that workflow is to then go ahead and synchronize the video and audio sources back in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or whatever program you are using to edit your videos. Now, there is something that actually can fix all of these issues, and that something is called timecode syncing. This is actually a process that is based on something that's called the SMPTE timecode, and that actually makes it possible that you can synchronize different devices in different setups. And the cool thing there is that the synchronization does not need any audio processing whatsoever. Instead, you have a special program that can read that timecode information, and then that program will just lay everything out for you in the timeline synchronized to a T. Now, if you're using this in a set that is just local, like for example, in my YouTube studio right here, having one camera right in front of me, sometimes I have a secondary camera showing stuff on my desk. That's the camera that I have right here. And of course, then also I have my audio recorder, which is recording the signal that is coming from up top here with the Octava MK012 coming into the Zoom F6 just out of frame as well. Now, the easiest way to synchronize if you just have one camera and one audio recorder would be to just link them together so that the audio and the video actually get recorded to the same device. Now, if you're using an external recorder like the Zoom F6, you can do that by using the line out to your camera. Some of the cameras actually support that. Some of the other cameras, you might need an adapter like the attenuation cable that I have also reviewed on this channel. I will have a link down below. But I am actually using the Atomos Ninja V right here. And with that setup, I can actually just link the line out of the Zoom F6 to the Atomos Ninja V. Now that would give me synchronizable audio, or actually it would actually give me the audio from this mic up here and straight away have that recorded to the Atomos. And with that, it is embedded in the video file. If you hook that up to your camera, the same thing is true. Now that's great because you can use that audio straight away if you want to, but you still could also record externally on your external recorder and use the audio later in the editing program to align those things. And there are actually also automated processes in programs like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut so that that can actually be done automatically by the program you're using so that you don't have to align everything manually. Now, this actually also works if you don't connect those things together, because if you use the in-camera microphone, for example, and you record there with audio and video, and then you have an external recorder like the Zoom F6, then you can actually also synchronize those things as long as you have enough overlap for the program to synchronize those things. One manual way would be to just have a clap signal so that you clap right at the beginning, maybe two, three times, so that you have very distinct peaks in your waveform so that you can take those and align the footage there. Now, this works great if you have all the cameras constantly recording and you can have them in one place at the beginning of the shoot. However, what do you do if you have multiple cameras that are going to be turned on and off during the recording so that you have multiple clips and you don't have to record everything on all the cameras at all times, but you actually also want to still be able to synchronize everything together? And that's actually where the timecode synchronization method comes in with a blast because that's exactly what this method is used for. Now, the main benefit of timecode synchronization is that you can synchronize the clocks inside of your devices at one point, and then that clock will actually keep running and save the basically the exact time when the file starts to be created. And that is something that reliably can then also be used while you are still starting and stopping your recording. And of course, then in the synchronization, this information can also be used. Now, the thing is, not all cameras and also audio recorders provide you with proper timecode implementations. The Canon EOS R, for example, that I have right here, does not really have a really good or solid timecode implementation by itself, and thus, you might need something extra. Now, some devices like the Zoom F6 have something that is called internal timecode with a quartz inside that is a very, very accurate clock. But you can also use something like an external timecode. An external timecode is something like this Tentacle Sync E. 
Now, these are devices that Tentacle Sync provided me with when I also was given the Tentacle Track E, and I have a couple of videos on those. Now, I'm also going to make a couple more videos about the Sync E to showcase how these things work and what they can do for you in your setup when you want to work with different audio sources and timecode synchronization. The Track E also has timecode built in and also works with the same setup and the same application if you want to use those. Now, with a timecode enabled device like the Zoom F6, you can actually use that timecode in there and you can actually also output that timecode from the timecode port on the side. And with that, you can actually use that timecode signal with a camera that does not support timecode. But the main point for that timecode output is actually that you can also synchronize multiple devices that are timecode capable by linking them together with the timecode in and out port because the timecode can actually be communicated as a audio signal, which is a high pitched and that can actually be used to synchronize multiple audio devices together or timecode devices that have that capability. Now, if you don't have that capability built into your camera, like I mentioned with the Canon EOS R, for example, which does not really have timecode enabled properly or a timecode enabled clock, so to say, you can actually still use timecode with these types of devices because timecode can be represented as a audio signal. And that's exactly what this little device does. The Sync E is actually just a very accurate clock inside, which is battery powered. There's also a Bluetooth thingy in here so that it can be controlled from your phone. And then you also have a tiny microphone. All of that then is basically using this output here. So this is a normal 3.5 millimeter output. It's a mini jack connection and that can be hooked up to a microphone port on your camera. Now, the cool thing with the Tentacle Sync E is that on one channel, you actually get the audio signal from the microphone and on the other one, you actually get the timecode signal recorded by your camera. Now, this is a device that can help you synchronize multiple devices together. And I will go into depth on this specific device in a future video, also going into detail how you can synchronize two cameras and the Zoom F6 with just two of the Sync E audio recorders. Now, with that now, we can have time code on this camera and I can just have this attached here because I have a little bit of a Velcro pad right there. And now I have a camera that usually does not support timecode and with this little adapter or with this little timecode device, now this camera will actually have timecode enabled. And the cool thing is that now I can start and stop once this device is synchronized with the network of timecode enabled devices. I can actually start and stop recording here and I still will be able to synchronize that footage with my main shot or with my audio shot that I have above head right here. Something else that you can also do, for example, is with the Track E, that's a timecode enabled audio recorder that features 32-bit audio float recording. This one here, you can just put it into your pocket and basically record for about 15 hours if you have a full day, for example, and then you can just synchronize all the video material to that clip so that you have a synchronized file and then you know exactly where you have video footage, where you don't have video footage. And if you need any of the audio in between, you still have that because you just recorded it continuously on this little device. So these are some of the capabilities that you have with timecode enabled systems. Now, how do you actually synchronize those things? Well, that's something where you need a bit of a special program, or you can also use DaVinci Resolve because that actually also can read the audio timecode signal. Now, Premiere Pro does not support that yet. However, I will make a video about the specific Tentacle Sync audio software, which is for macOS. And I think there is a Windows alternative as well, but I can only do the macOS version here because that's the only system that I have. But I'm going to make a tutorial which goes in depth in that area, how you can actually synchronize your audio and your video on your computer, how to set all of that up, how to use that program to then also bring everything into Premiere Pro 
Now, if you don't have any Tentacle Sync products and you don't want to buy their software, then I will also show you how you can do DaVinci Resolve and actually use that to synchronize timecode even with the audio timecode recording with different devices and how you can actually achieve that for free because DaVinci Resolve has that ability in the free version. I think Timecode is an incredible system, even though it might be a bit of an overkill to use that with the setup that I have here in the studio. But I definitely know that it made a couple of things very, very easy. And in other circumstances, it adds a bit of work, but it gives me the security that I'm actually going to have everything in sync. To wrap things up, the benefits of time code synchronization is that you have a super fast workflow on your computer for synchronization because it's all algorithm based and also metadata based. So you don't have to do all the analysis of the waveforms or the manual alignment. You also don't have to worry about clap syncing. It's probably a good idea to still do the clap sync so that you have that as a backup if the time code synchronization didn't work for whatever reason. And then of course, you also have the benefit that the cameras can be started and stopped recording while whilst you are still recording and doing other things, and the synchronization will still stay intact. The drawbacks of time code synchronization is that you might have a bit of a bulkier setup. You might need something like the Tentacle Sync E for the synchronization of devices and cameras that don't support time code synchronization natively, and or you might need some other devices that do the same job. Overall, I think Timecode is a powerful tool in the toolkit for a filmmaker. It is something that is incredibly helpful to make filmmaking, documentary making, and other things that much easier. And it helps to have a smoother experience when you're ingesting all your files to not have to synchronize everything manually, but just have that done automatically. Now on my channel, you will find a full playlist of videos about time code synchronization, specifically with the Track E and Sync E, however, not limited to those. Those are the ones that I have available for me because the company Tank Tackle Sync actually provided them for me to also produce videos like this. This is super nice because that way I can provide you with information about time code synchronization. And if it is something valuable to you, maybe those devices are interesting for you as well. Now, my question for you today is, do you use time code synchronization? Have you ever heard of it? And what are your questions around the topic? You can leave those things in the comment section down below. And of course, while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up. That helps out a lot for the YouTube algorithm and also helps me understand better what kind of videos you like on my channel. Now, if this video was interesting for you, maybe these two are as well. And with that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Make more videos with everything synchronized and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.